Hi, are you stuck with this annoying PXE network boot error? Or a no bootable device message and your computer just refuses to boot from the SSD or Windows boot manager? Don't worry, in this video I will walk you step by step on how to fix it. Whether it's just a BIOS misconfiguration or a corrupted bootloader. PXE stands for Preboot Execution Environment. It's basically a way to boot from a network when no local drive is found. If you are seeing PXE errors, it usually means your system can't detect your SSD or the Windows boot files are missing. First, restart your computer and enter the BIOS or UEFI by pressing the BIOS key, usually F2, F10, delete or escape. Now check two things. Make sure your SSD is detected in the storage section. Go to boot order and make sure Windows boot manager or your SSD is at the top. And if you see PXE boot or network boot, disable it unless you specifically need it. If your SSD doesn't show up in BIOS, power off your system, unplug it and restart the SSD. For desktops, check the SATA and power cables. For laptops with M.2 drives, carefully remove and reinsert the SSD. Sometimes it's just a loose connection. Another common issue is mismatched between legacy and UEFI modes. If Windows was installed in UEFI mode, make sure UEFI is enabled. If it was installed in legacy mode, enable CSM or legacy boot. If this doesn't match, the boot manager won't be recognized. Go to boot order and make sure Windows boot manager or your SSD is at the top. If your SSD shows up in BIOS but you still get the error, the bootloader may be corrupted. Here's how to fix it. Create a Windows installation USB using Microsoft's media creation tool. Boot from the USB. Then select repair your computer. After that troubleshoot. Now click on command prompt. Now in the command prompt window, type these commands one by one. Boot rec space forward slash fix boot. Then press enter. If you see a message access denied error on forward slash fix boot, don't panic. I will cover the EFI partition fix in the next step. If you see forward slash fix boot successful, then continue with these commands. If forward slash fix boot fails, you will need to manually assign a drive letter to the EFI partition. Here's how to do it. This copies the Windows boot files back to the EFI partition. After that, reboot and your system should start normally. If nothing works, test your SSD using a Linux Live USB or tools like Crystal Disk Info. 
If the SSD doesn't show up at all, it may have failed and need replacing. And that's it. Your computer should now boot properly without the PXE error. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If this video helped you, give it a like and subscribe for more PC repair tutorials. And let me know in the comments which step worked for you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.